you know, you don't want to have your drink in one hand, your bag in the other, and you're just like, I think it would just be a really annoying bag to take to a festival. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. <laughs> so I'm so excited that I get to film a video this morning. I woke up extra early and I do have a wedding today, which is exciting. Maybe actually I'll show you what I'm wearing to the wedding today. Um, I found this little um, skirt. It's pretty cool. It's from the brand Romance Was Born. So I just thought that was really pretty. And I'm going to be wearing it with these little Mimco shoes, which I know is like quite a lot, but I think it'll be okay. And then I'm just going to wear like a plain off the shoulder black top. And I don't really know what bag to wear, guys. Like, I feel like I need like a really low key clutch, but I don't have one. So like a Bottega pouch would be really nice. Like a black, like the pouch. Just don't have anything that's just really low key and understated, which I need for this because it's just a lot of glitter. So I think I'm gonna wear just like this little black mini with it because I already have a lot going on, but I don't know. I just think even like the Chanel, it's like a bit much, but I don't know. That's my only option. I'm forced to wear Chanel in this outfit, guys. So yeah, I think I'm just going to wear the Chanel bag this time, but I wouldn't mind trying to find like a low key clutch for my next wedding or something. Cause yeah, I feel like Chanel bags are, they're good for wedding, but yeah, I don't know. And then like this yellow is just like a bit too much, like, especially with the shoes as well. Like maybe if I swap the shoes, um, the red is okay. I think the red goes, but then I need to change the shoes to just like plain black or something. And I really want to wear like this with this. I just think this is really cool. So yeah, guys, that's just um my outfit dilemma today. I have to go to work first though, which is, you know, it is what it is. Gotta work hard, play hard, work hard. <laughs> so I'm actually looking at Coachella outfits and I noticed that a lot of the bigger influencers like Leonie Hahn and Tamara and um, who else did I see? I don't know, they're all wearing like really decked out designer outfits. And I know that they are probably sponsored, I, I, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing a lot of the things that they were wearing that were gifted or, you know, it's some sort of ad. And it made me really think, like, I used to go to music festivals, you know, back in my youth, my early 20s, and I would never even, like, consider wearing a designer bag. And I, I thought to myself, like, would I wear a designer bag to a music festival now? Like, now that I, like, I'm more obsessed with designer bags, because... In my earlier 20s, I, I liked bags, but I was never into designer bags because they were just too expensive. And honestly, I think if you're going to a music festival, it's, in my opinion, it's a little bit unnecessary, unnecessary to wear a designer bag because you're going to get it destroyed if you really want to party. <laughs> I think, well, I know for me, every time I went to a music festival, I would make sure not to wear nice shoes. I mean, I would wear like cool, maybe chunky boots with a bit of a heel or like flat boots, you know, something that you can get muddy. I would wear bags that I could hose down because, you know, it gets quite dusty, especially if you're dancing, especially in these like desert music festivals. If you're like dancing, there's going to be a lot of dirt everywhere. You're going to get dirt in your fingernails and um, like in the zips of your bag and just like even inside your bag. Like also like, I guess, carrying drinks and then like having people pour drinks on you and stuff. I don't know if I would necessarily want to take a designer bag into that situation unless it was like something that I intentionally wanted to trash because even if I got a designer bag for like under a hundred dollars which you sometimes can like a really old Louis Vuitton bag if you wanted to trash it then I guess a music festival would be fine for that situation but I think also for music festivals you need something a little bit more utilitarian or or something really fun and party party and this uh, purse blog article uh, which kind of took us through a few little outfits from the 2022 Coachella festival. He's wearing a really really gorgeous Paco Rabanne handbag. Now I absolutely love this bag because it is quite low-key and it's not too like brandy brandy but you know it's Paco Rabanne because of those uh, metallic discs that's very iconic for that brand. I think it's a, a brand from the 60s. And she's also wearing some Chanel dad sandals. 
Um, now this outfit is extremely cute. I really like it. But I think for me, if I wore this outfit, especially with these shoes, I know I would trash these shoes, especially being in a mosh pit or something. So I think this outfit is cute, but it's not very practical for a music festival if you were going to go really hard, if you know what I mean. So really cute outfit, but is it festival appropriate? Not sure. Uh, next outfit, we have uh, this lady with uh, some sneakers, which is probably more music festival appropriate. They are like hype sneakers, though, um, like Nike Dunks, I think, or Jordans. I don't know, guys. I'm not a sneakerhead here, but she also has this really cute Bottega bag. I really like this style because it's a little bit more low-key, and it really adds a cute color to her outfit, and it's not screaming like a brand or anything, but you know it's Bottega because of that little woven uh, design. Now, this is a really good bag because it's crossbody, so I think it would be easier to dance with as opposed to like the one we saw before with the shoulder. I think this would be a little bit more annoying to uh, really go crazy with, but this one I think you could really like dance and jump around. Now, would I take this bag to a music festival? Um, I I wouldn't personally because I know that would get trashed. Like, I, I'm just speaking from experience. Like, every time I bought... Like, I was trying to find my one of my music festival bags, but, like, they just get so dirty, guys. It's just from all the dirt from, like, the ground. I don't know if it's just in Australia, guys, but unless Coachella is extremely, like, tame, <laughs> then maybe that's why, but... I don't know, I wouldn't bring it, like, I wouldn't bring this really cute Bottega back to a festival. I would just, because I would ruin it, so. But it is a really cute outfit. Uh, next we have, uh, now I think this is a little bit more of a smart option. I think a bum bag is really good for a music festival because it's the most freeing style to wear. So we have this lady here wearing a Balenciaga, like, graffiti bag. I also think that this material and this colour is a little bit more resilient to partying. So I think you could wipe that down pretty easily. And I think the style of it, like with that like graffiti scribble, it's quite music festival vibe to me. So I don't actually mind this Balenciaga bag for this music festival purpose. I actually don't think I would wear this bag in my everyday life. I think it's actually too like sporty and it's not my personal style but i think to a music festival this is kind of like more the theme that's something that you would wear and a bum bag is really practical for those situations i also think her outfit in general is very good music festival outfit like she's got the bright pants but she looks comfortable it's nothing too much and her shoes are just black so it's a smart this is a smart music festival outfit i think it's a little bit more practical now, this girl looks really cute as well with her shorts, um, but she has a, a blue suede Bottega bag, um, which is a hand-held carry bag. Um, this would be a nightmare to wear at a music festival, because, like, when you're at a music festival, you usually have a drink and, like, you know, you don't want to have your drink in one hand, your bag in the other, and you're just like, I think it would just be a really annoying bag to take to a festival. Not only that, but it's baby blue suede, like... That is just a nightmare to maintain at a music festival. Like, that would get obliterated in the mosh pit. So, yeah, I mean, cute outfit, but that is just, like, not a music festival bag. Unless you don't care. Unless you're, like, one of these people who have so much money, you could just throw a wear bag and, you know. But I just think music festival, like, why destroy your bag? Like, why bring such a nice bag to a festival? Like, I don't know. Okay, we have this lady with... Sorry, I don't know who these celebrities are, guys, but I'm just critiquing their outfits. So, I think this is a beautiful white dress with flowers. And she's wearing these, like, very dainty pink sandals. This is not a music festival outfit, like, in my opinion. Because, like, if you go into the mosh pit, guys, your toes are going to get trodden on. And your pink sandals are just going to fall apart. Um, now, this Gucci bag, I think it's small enough that it's actually practical for a music festival. And I think this would be an okay option to take this bag. But, again, it's probably a little bit too fancy for a music festival. I just think she looks very fancy. Now, I haven't gone to Coachella myself. So, maybe Coachella is a fancy music festival, but... I'm telling you, if you went to a music festival in Australia with, like, this kind of ensemble, like, you just couldn't party, basically, because you would just get, 
like you would just be destroyed like honestly this would get so dirty anyway guys uh let me know if you think my opinions are false like i'm happy to hear your opinion too because i haven't been to like i've only been to like i don't know four or five music festivals in australia i've never been to a music festival overseas so maybe it's different um i think this isn't a great option for a music festival outfit this is very smart now her bag um what is her bag the row okay so the row is expensive but this bag is really low key again i don't think i would bring a shoulder bag to a music festival i think i would bring either a mini backpack or a bum bag just because i want to be hands-free if i'm at a music festival but i think the the outfit is cute the boots are a good option for a music festival too because black is a little bit more forgiving and i do like the dress i think it is very music festival ish so yeah don't mind this outfit but i would probably swap the evening bag for like a bum bag or something just because it's going to be a little bit more practical um okay we've got this guy here with a full denim ensemble and a little crossbody so yeah i think crossbody's smart i don't know what he's got in that bag but it's more of an accessory so like i don't think oh, like maybe he's wearing nothing under this denim jacket because i think he would get pretty hot in this outfit so that's interesting okay we have a girl here with some suede cowboy boots and a louis vuitton backpack i think backpack is a great option for a music festival because like your hands free i wouldn't necessarily bring a louis vuitton backpack but that's fine i would probably bring like a canvas backpack and then put like little stickers all over it or like little pins i used to have this unif uh pvc holographic backpack with like a fluffy heart i tried to find it but i couldn't find it in my room and um yeah that was a really good music festival bag that um it was just kind of fun a bit of a disco theme and yeah it was not like really expensive but it was still kind of like a party bag so i would probably get like i would personally probably wear something like that as opposed to a louis vuitton uh we've got another lady here with a saddle bag which she's wearing a crossbody it definitely goes with the theme of her like country style outfit um yeah i mean that looks really pretty it's very like boho vibe but i don't know it's also a little bit predictable and uh finally guys we've got this lady with a valentino hessian bag and she's wearing it like a clutch um yeah i wouldn't wear a clutch to a music festival because that would just be annoying a few more uh we've got this outfit with like a valentino shoulder bag um i don't know i just don't think this is a music festival bag in my opinion it's a shoulder bag it's just not it's not you're not gonna have fun with this bag basically you're just gonna be annoyed with it um and it's just too fat it's too fancy guys like you need something low-key um and another little Mew Mew shoulder bag guys i'm really like loving Mew Mew lately i like how like that's a very cute bag i actually think that's that's not too much for a music festival it's a i mean it's still expensive it's still Mew Mew, but that's quite cute actually i like that little bag um to a music festival guys honestly i would wear something that I would kind of wouldn't mind trashing so I found this bag I know this is like not that cool but I got this in Japan and it's um like in a uh, fabric -y. I think it's from Le Sport Sack is it uh, no actually it's Dickies ha like it's Dickies in collaboration with Hello Kitty which is really weird but I think this is a really good music festival bag because it's very cheap and cheerful um you can just put your stuff in here and I like the rainbow strap. I think that's kind of fun. And it's, you need something like utilitarian, I think, to wear to a music festival. So something like this, you could just wear it up here. It's flat. It's not too crazy, but it's kind of hilarious because of the kitty. Like, and you just put your stuff in here. And I'd probably wear like a, I don't know, like a jumpsuit or something. <laughs> like a khaki jumpsuit with like some combat boots. I know it's kind of like weird, but, and then I put like, you know glitter on my eyes or something have like cool hair scrunchies i don't know like you want to be party but you also want to be like get down and dirty with the festival so i wouldn't wear anything too pretty or i would wear like 
a plastic PVC bag, so like a cute little plastic backpack. Um, a really fun brand that has exciting like disco-esque bags that are not too expensive. Um, have you guys ever seen a regular choice? Like they're kind of expensive, but uh, the other day I was browsing their website and I noticed that they're going to release like a Pokemon bag, which is really, really cute. Um, I think that would get destroyed at a music festival, but I would kind of want to wear something like fun like that to a festival. Something that's not like a thousand dollars, something that is, you know, really fun or and cool and I don't know. I probably wouldn't wear this bag to a festival, but I think your regular choice has some really eye-catching and playful bags that maybe you would be able to find like a little bum bag or backpack from a regular choice that might be really good for a music festival. Um, also, I think I'd wear like a like, little sport sack, uh, maybe a Kankin backpack. Uh, I know this would get so dirty at a music festival as well, but maybe I've seen them do like really mini ones. Like I think there was like an Acne Studios Kankin backpack collab. I think something like that would be really good for a festival, like a little mini version of this. Um, something nylon you can hose down, not necessarily Prada nylon, but just something like street style. Um, not too crazy or PVC or like you know holographic or something yeah that's something I would wear at a festival just because I, just, I think it's more practical and I could really enjoy myself at the festival without worrying that I'm going to destroy like my Prada bag or something so anyway guys uh, let me know what you think of Coachella fashion and their bag choices and uh, whether like I'm just being like I don't know, weird, like, I don't understand why you wear a designer bag to a festival, but maybe that, maybe I just don't, I don't get it, guys. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching my video. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye!